Hi, my name is Michelle and in today's video we're going to show you around our 2009 30-foot travel trailer. A little bit about our channel. We rent our home out on Airbnb, but we also rent our camper out on RV Share. So um, like right now we have guests in our home and we're staying in our camper so we're going to show you how we have everything set up and organized. All right, let's get started. So I'll just show you a couple of things here. This is the master suite in here. And um, we have these snaps. And uh, these are doors that we have. And they close like this, which is nice because that will uh, ensure some privacy. It also has, uh, it's able to block some of the noise too. So, which is really nice when you have a lot of people in the camper. It's just that little bit that's you know, just a little extra. And then, so that it's more open and airy when we're in here, we just open it up like that, and that's all good. Another thing about in here is um, we've got plenty of outlets, which is nice. We have uh, plenty of storage, and then we have a heat duct under here, so that even if the doors are closed, it is uh, still really warm in here. Um, we also have a air conditioning duct up here. So it's, it's pretty nice as far as climate goes. We've got two windows on the sides for any cross ventilation. And um, yeah, we really, we really like it in here. It's a little tight fit. This is a queen size bed that we have. And uh, it's a little bit of a tight fit getting around, but it's not, it's not bad. All right, so in the master suite, a couple of things. On our window, what we did is um, we have these little clothespins on here. Um, it helps to keep these open or closed. Um, so we did that on there. And then up above is where we keep all of our clothes. So we have them in bins like this, you know. Just keep everything in here so that it's organized. I have two for me, two for Brad. And sometimes if we have a longer stay, you know, and then we also have our hanging things in there. These will fit right up here. If we, like I said, if we have a longer stay and we need more storage, we can fit four of these across and then we can put extra bins up in here for more things. Can we just pick these up at the dollar store? Um, so yeah, they're real, very nice. That's what I want to show. So I'm just going to show you around um, the kitchen area and that and how we do some of our storage. So um, I have a rack here and normally we have um, either like onions and garlic and potatoes or we have fruit on here so that it's hanging. Um, we don't have a ton of um, counter space, but I think we have enough. You know, it's comfortable. It's very, very comfortable for our stay. And um, when this is down and these are covered, this is our sink. You know, you just lift these off. And um, I think we have a lot of room here for prep work and that. Um, and then you just lift this up. And then we have a three burner uh, stove there. We have an oven here. If you wanted to bake anything, that's all good. So what I have, um, just kind of tucked away, this is for drying dishes, it's the dish rack. And under here, I kind of have tucked our um, cutting board, coffee pot, it's on. Um, this is where I keep our silverware in here because, you know, we only have two drawers. And in the drawers, this is where I like to keep our towels and dishcloths. And then down here, um, we have knives and uh, measuring spoons, pizza cutter. So just a variety of things in there. Uh, this little cubby here, we keep salt and pepper and the um, tin foil, you know, a couple of loose baggies. And under here, I have, uh, you know, dish soap and um, barkeeper's friend for scrubbing and pine saw baggies. And I still have extra room for things. I try not to have things too packed um, as far as uh, too many things for every scenario that might come up. What I try to do is just have more of the minimum and then just, just make do with what you have. You don't have to have a ton of different things when you're camping. So um, that's what I have here. Um, and then in our cupboards, normally this is 
full of food. This is where we keep our, you know, breads and buns and coffee and, and all of that stuff in here. Um, so we have plenty of room in there. And then in these, this is where we keep our dishes. So um, we have cups over here. We bought Corel Ware just because it's, uh, you can put it in the microwave if you want. It's nicer to eat out of than plastic. It's a little bit of dishes to do every day, but it's not, it's really not that bad. I, I really like eating off of real, real dishes. So I have that in here and we have a, um, oh, what is that called? This stuff here. <laughs> so it doesn't fly around. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. So, um, but it's like, it's not sticky, but it's shelf liner. That's it. And um, so that helps, keeps everything in there. And I know some people, what they'll do is they will have uh, like child safety locks on here. So it, it sticks, but sometimes it may, we haven't had a problem with it yet, but I know some people have, and they put the si child safety locks on there so that these don't fly open when you're traveling. Over here, we have all of our coffee cups in here. And they're just right there. And um, another thing that we do, we have one that's not white, but most of our cups are, are white. And then, so we can tell them apart, we keep a Sharpie. And then I'll just put like my initial on it and I know this one's mine. And, um, or you can write your name or whatever it is. And then when you wash it, it just comes it comes, <laughs> it's not right now, of course, but it comes, it comes right off. So it's just something that we do. Have our Sharpie up here and so our cups, I think, I'll just rinse that out. Um, and then we have other uh, storage containers in here. One thing about our dishes, one of the reasons, or another reason why I like it, is these you can use for cereal or broccoli or veggies or salad or whatever you want but you can also use it for storage so um, these just pop on and then you can you have storage you don't have to have you know all of this plus something else again if you can use things and they have uh, dual, pur dual purpose then all the better and uh, then over here is where we have pots and pans so um you know we just have a variety of pans there um some mixing bowls a couple of different mixing bowls uh, the nice thing about this pan you can use it as a mixing bowl or you can boil water in it or you know make your veggies in it or whatever stew chili whatever it is so that's nice. Um, I do have one pitcher. It's plastic because I was concerned about having glass in here and I didn't also want to have a stainless steel one. So if I can find a good alternative, we'll pick it up. But as of right now, <laughs> as of right now, this is what we have. And that's fine. I'm good with that. So put this away. And uh, that's been real easy, real comfortable. And that fits all up in there. And this, and this has to come out of here when we travel because this will fall down. So I have um, two frying pans that I use. And this one is a deep one, which is nice because this can be used for uh, whether it's frying hamburgers or eggs or omelets, but it's also thick enough that if you do want to make um, chili in here or you want to make a stew or anything else, you know, spaghetti sauce, something like that, it has enough room for that. So that is that, and then that just pops right in here, like that. And then over in this cupboard, this is where we keep um, little odds and ends, whether they're fuses we keep in here, some batteries, um, extra stuff in these little cubbies. Um, you know, just just different things. Now, not a ton, again, not a ton of stuff. You don't need to have everything under the sun. You're camping, it's fine, you'll make it. Um, and then a toaster, oops, and, kids sidewalk salt which is 
really, really nice. If you have kids or you're going to have kids around camping, sidewalk salt is a godsend because they just, you know, they have so much fun when they're just creating their own things on the, on the parking lot or on the drive over there. This is not sidewalk salt. This, <laughs> can you tell we live in Wisconsin? <laughs> this is sidewalk chalk. <laughs> so this is what the kids would draw on. I need to replenish this for them. Um, but I've got just a couple of left. And uh, this is our first camping trip that we've had this season. So I still need to uh, replenish the chalk. And then we have over here, um, we have a TV. If somebody's not feeling well or something like that, we can pop in a video, um, you know, but we normally just have that stuff there. First aid kit, nice and handy. Um, underneath the cushions, we do have more storage under here, but we don't use it. So um, we go grocery shopping pretty often but it's there if we need it, which is nice. And let's see here. In our bathroom, again, we're going to be doing, I think Brad had already showed some of it. We're going to be putting a um, paper towel holder up here. And um, yeah, we just keep our health and beauty aid stuff in there. Shower is here. And then in here, Brad's going to put a curved curtain rod, which is nice, um, to give us a little bit more room in here. And then this is where we keep the dirty clothes. And um, just when it's time to take a shower or whatever, you just pop that out, and that's fine. And this is this is nice too, because this is nice and tall. You can fit in here. And here's your shower head. Yeah, we like it. It works really well. Oh, and then under here, in here, is where we would normally have all of our towels and, and everything else. And we have a tiny garbage can over he here. You can see it's full. Sorry about that. And really what this is, because it's hard to find a super slim garbage can, is um, it's a cereal holder. Uh, you know, for storage with uh, cereal or whatever. It's a big container like that, so that it's nice and narrow. So that is that. Uh, microwave, we've got a light here. It's not working, Brad, that needs to be fixed. Uh, fan, if we need it. And freezer, refrigerator. And then this is the bunkhouse in here. Um, so we we still have a couple of things that we need to do but so we've got sheets in here we've got a mattress we have um, an extra pad that we put on top so we just had Sarah and Brian and the kids staying with us and uh, this is a, a double a double bunk um, it's still pretty narrow but supposedly two feet people are able to sleep on here and down here and then over here are the single bunks. And uh, so you're able to sleep on here. And then normally we have this empty. And we use this for, you know, storage if we needed to. And, um, or, you know, like when the kids get bigger or something like that, then they can sleep up here too. We do have a mattress for over here. Um, but yeah. So we use it for storage here, and then they can keep their clothes in here. We also have um, special toys and games that we keep just for the camper. So that's kind of fun and exciting for them too. So we have some hooks up here, and we like to keep our keys just hanging up here. And then we also have flashlight. We have a few lighters, another little flashlight. Um, and this is a safety vest uh, if we need to... We. Brad <laughs> needs to do anything outside and maybe we're alongside the road and something happens we have a safety vest that he can put on which is really you know it's a nice thing it's bright so if we ever need it we haven't yet but it's there and um, we have a couple of umbrellas and then we also have a um, fire extinguisher 
and then we have hooks up here and these are in really solid which is nice um, we can put a bunch of coats up here and then we're going to get two more of these and have them hang lower so the kids can hang their own things up um, for right now we have a basket for our shoes we're trying to decide on you know exactly what to do with the shoes um, if I want just a taller basket or two baskets to put shoes, kids shoes, adult shoes, or if we're going to hang them, hang something on the back of the, uh, the bench. So we're just kind of trying everything out. And uh, as, we, as we go along, as the season goes along, we'll just get um, different things and just work a little bit smarter. And I'll show you what we have for storage. We have... So, um, most of our stuff we already have out, but I'll just show you real briefly what we do have. I do have an extra an extra frying pan in here just in case we need it. We haven't yet. We have two of them out already. Um, I have a crock pot and then I also have wash basins for if I want to do dishes outside instead of inside. We also have two fans if we need it. We do have air conditioning in here, but sometimes we just need a little more airflow, and so we have a couple of fans. And then I also have um, a couple of baking sheets, a collapsible water container, so uh, if we need that for extra water, if we're boondocking or something. Over here I have a griddle that we can use for um, pancakes or French toast or something like that. So we have that. And then in the white bin here, we have um, just odds and ends kind of stuff. We have all of our information in here about our travel trailer if we need it. Usually this is where we will store some things like our coffee pot, um, some other stuff that we're, we have out and we're using it. So we'll store that in here when we are traveling. Um, a couple other things, I mean, I showed you in here where we have, I took them out now, but um, normally we have bins in here for our t-shirts and socks and everything in here. And then in, in here we have put a, a bin in there. If we have anything else, pajamas or shorts or whatever we need, we have it there. We can also put a, um, a basket on top, hang any clothes up that we need to. Brad has the same thing on his side. And um, on each side, we also have a ledge. So we can have a, we have in the past, we've put up a small um, reading light because when you're laying in bed, this thing in your eyes is kind of a pain. So we have a little reading light that we put up here. We just plug it in right here. Um, we have a drawer here for extension cords or for a plug-in for a phone. And what else do we have? We do have a hook over here if we wanted to put a TV. And then we also have a little ledge here too if we want. It was originally, whoops. <laughs> one moment please. There we go Well, I lock it. It was originally for one of those big old TVs, but um, we kept it in here just in case we wanted it, if we um, need it for anything. So if you like this video, be sure to subscribe. Um, hit the bell for notifications, and if you could share it, that way it helps other people find us. All right. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching.